For more updates, click on subscribe and click on bell button for latest notifications. See Linux containers. So, which is in a negative uh, support of RHEL 8 containers. So, RHEL 8, they given a new methods to build the containers instead of using the other tools, external tools. But these are the built in features of RHEL 8, which are Podman, Builder, Scopio, and Runzi. So let's see what are those and how we can build the containers using this technologies or these tools. So what is mainly the container? A container is a form of OS virtualization. A single container might be used to run anything from a small microservice of software process to a larger application. Basically, the container does not have a complete OS, so it only has the required installs or the required libraries to run any software. So that's why it is a tiny, small, and it does not consume a more resource when you run the container. So that's the main advantage of that one. Example, if you want to run a small web server, you don't need to install complete operating system which installs so many uh, files and configuration stuff but the container will only do a small whatever the required libraries for that particular web server application so that's why it's it's in simple mbs like example if you run simple container which should be in around 150 mb to 200 mb something like that RGL8 provides tools building the containers. It provides the tools called Poldman, uh, Builder, Scopio, and RunC to work with containers within a single server. So, within a single bare metal server, or maybe instead of um, building any multiple servers, you can build a single server in that you can run so many containers to do your work. Or you might be dedicate most of them are to the different different services containers run demandless and rootless so demandless means there is no service required to run for this containers so it will run without a demand okay and rootless so most of the containers launch then you require root access but here you do not require any root access you, from the normal user also you can even run the containers or even you can build the container from there itself so that's the advantage of the using this poor man so what are the core technologies which is inbuilt are the uh, RHEL implements the Linux containers using this core technologies so control groups which are the C groups we call for resource management whenever you launch any container so it requires some resources right the resources are managed using this C groups namespaces for process isolation example each and every container will have their own namespace so to avoid the interaction between the multiple containers directly so that's the security level and SC Linux for security so you can apply the SC Linux to these container policies so that they have more security in terms of accessing secure multi tenancy example you can run multiple tenants example you have a different different companies together you want to run multiple companies containers in within the single server you can still do them do that because it uses the different security methods to secure them or they cannot access each other if they are still located in the same server so that's the secure multi tenancy so these are the four methods or the four core technologies inbuilted in this container technologies on the RHEL 8 Portman, Builder, Scopia and RunC what are those basically Podman is a demandless container engine for developing, managing and running OCI containers on Linux system. Containers can either be run as root or in rootless mode. So either the container can run using the 
portman so the portman is main main engine which is uh, used to deploy and manage the o oci containers and it it can also be run as a root user or rootless mode builder for building pushing and signing the container images scopio for copying inspecting deleting and signing images run c for providing container run and build features to portman and builder so these are the tools we are going to use it for deploying the containers and building it them and pushing it them and making the new scratch containers and uh, inspect the existing containers uh, and signing the images all of this we can use in the uh, practical session let's see what exactly we have to do in order to start with the the container technology and this rcl8 so first of all we need to install the module called container tools so which basically install all the dependent packages for this uh, required container containers packages so the commands and uh, associated libraries will be installed yum install so there is a dependent packages for portman like if most of the users already using some docker containers then if you if you'd like to re replace the docker with the portman so the portman docker would be a easy step like where it similar commands like the docker same instead of docker you just replace the portman so it works so that's the simple fonda that's why you can install the portman iphone docker so it's similar like commands for the dockers portman search centos so which will basically search the repository uh, on the access.redart.registry.com or on the redart side and as well as the docker site for searching the images and uh, pull the images using the portman pull and what are the name the image name you can here centos i just put as an example you may put centos ubuntu or hl whatever you want and you can see that pull images using the portman images and portman inspect the image name id so the when you download the image it gets a uh, id number so id you can inspect that particular image whether it is the inspect will provide all the detailed information that what are the packages are installed on that particular uh, image and uh, where it is came from and what are these details of uh, particular image before running that if you inspect it you will get the full details on that image and you can run portman run and uh, running that image so it will run the image and uh, if there is no job is running within that pod so you cannot see any processes running behind that because it's a demand list and portman run as an it interactive manner if you want to execute any commands on that particular image you can just uh, you can just run something like this and uh, be bash so that you can access the bash command prompt on that particular port container so let's see in practically how we can install and configure them so this is my rhl 8 or the centos 8 so if you do not have any rhl subscription or you do not have any uh, trial license already trial is not subscribed to the rhl 8 so i recommend to go with the centos 8 since if you do not have the subscription then uh, the container technology may not work properly for you so that's why uh, if you do not have the rhl 8 already subscribed to the subscription manager as a trail version as is as i shown you before if it is not then you just uh, use the centos to do that do this so let's install the packages required m module install container tools since i already installed these packages so it says dependencies is sold nothing to do that nothing to do with anything so let's install the another packages the dependent packages of portman and the uh, rootless container running dependent packages m install the dependence package name is li r p for net 
NS. So this is the dependent packages for rootless and the board man and board man iPhone docker iphone y so these are the packages required for our installation so basically whenever you install the container tools it will automatically install uh, all the required packages for you now we installed all the required packages for us now let's create some user to run as any rootless user and example i just run something like uh, username is ravi i might be create some comment as ravi kumar it might be something admin and say the username is ravi then the user has been created and set this username password So user created and user password has been created successfully. Now do SSH to that user. SSH. Do not uh, use a sudo because since it does not load the required uh, uh, environment for you, so it, it may not work. So that's why you have to do this way. Then now portman is ready to do with this rootless right run some rootless container and see how it works portman first of all we do search on this centos method and see if we could able to get this access you can see there are so many stuff so this error you may get it because since we do not have any uh, registries on this it is not registered with that so that's why it, it may get uh, error and you can see that docker i where there are so many centos images so which image you would like to bring it here so whether you can bring it centos or centos latest whatever it is you can pull that image using this so now let's specify that which image you would like to pull it one man I just would like to pull the CentOS latest version. Okay, and let's type this one. You can see now the image has been pulled over here. Let's clear the screen and see Portman images. Now you can see there is a new latest centos image has been pulled out and which was created seven months ago and you can see that there is an image id which is here and inspect this container and see what is there in that portman inspect and provide this id so you can see that there are so many details This is a simple CentOS image. We pulled it from there and let's run this image and see what we can run this portman. Okay, now portman images and portman run and provide that image name or image id so it just run and exit it let's run it again with the different same portman images let's see portman images and run it with some some different naming or some uh, commands on there on the portman then delete that portman image so maybe i just run something different uh, container here let's something like uh, run it and remove it from here centos let's say latest and cat slash etc data iphone 
release. So this is the command I just would like to run on that particular CentOS and remove that container after running this command. Enter. Now you can see that it ran the command on that particular see the CentOS release 8.3. This is the command has been run and it exited. And similar way, if you want to run something different, portman run. Maybe I would like to put a different name to that particular container saying that uh, it's a tech ARKIT for that and I can interactively run on this Ubuntu latest. I just pull the different image and run bin bash on that particular image. So it just go and pull that uh, Ubuntu image and uh, run that bin bash. So I'm not removing this container. So I did not specify anything RM over there. So you can see that this is the container which is locked in. Now let's uh, run something like uh, cat slash etc voice iphone release you can see that this is the ubuntu version 20.04 lds focal fossa and this is the image you can see that and uh, let's run some ls you can see directories on that particular container now if you go back i just launch a different image sorry duplicate session of this one and show you something now just run code man ps so what is the processes are running in this you cannot see here okay because it's a demand list that's why it does not show anything and if you go back to the maybe user ravi let's see portman ps you can see since this user is running the port man you cannot even list the ps from the root user you can only list it from that particular user so that's that's one more security level up about the minute ago which was launched created and which is still running so if i exit from this container and run port man ps so it was gone if you want to run anything uh similar like using this uh, Portman run iPhone D example say that I want to run is uh, some HTTP service okay just put it as docker image and put some HTTP and pull that image it's downloading the image now see Portman images and you can see that there are three images we pulled it one is ubuntu another is http and another is centos portman ps yes. you can see which is still running in the background that's how you can pull this using the portman you can still pull these images and run this uh, container technology using this portman and uh, we'll see more detail like how we can create the containers from the scratch and how we can clone the containers and how we can push them and pull them all of this in the next session we are going to see that the next container technology the container technology in that this next command is that uh, builder the utility builder using builder we can build push and uh, signing the containers we can do using the builder so how you can build a container and how you can push that or how you can save the container as a tar file then we can import that same container to the other machines let's see that so about builder so the builder package provides a command line tool that can be used create a working container either from scratch or using an images as a starting point so what we can do is that creating a working container so we can create a working container from builder either from scratch so we can also do the build the container from the scratch uh, using an image as starting point so whether we can use the other image and build the scratching container from there create an image 
either from a working container or via the instructions in docker file so we can also create the container using the docker file so that process also we see in this process so like how we can create the docker file and create the container using the builder images can build can be built in either the oca the open source uh, container technology okay image format are the traditional upstream docker image format so you if you want to create a name upstream docker image format container so you can also do that from the builder mount your working containers root file system for manipulation example if it is there is already working container you already exist then you can mount that working container root file system then you can modify that container and import that container and save that container as well use the updated contents of containers root file system as a file system layer to create a new image delete a working container or an image rename a local container so this is what we can do using the builder okay let's see how we can build a container image by using the uh, any of the operating system version example i took here is that centos and build images then you can see that builder images so the downloaded image you can see over there and build a containers then you can see the working container which is currently exit then what i'm going to do is that i'm going to install the application called hello in that container and we are going to export that container and save that container as a tar file then delete the existing image and import that uh, tar file again as a container so how you can do that so these are all the uh, commands here what is the process of that commands we are going to uh, use on this session so these are the commands here so, okay let's jump into the practical and see how you can build this images okay let's see here is my um, linux server i have just logged into the linux server and now what we are going to do is that we are going to build a image using this centos from centos we just import one of the image and build with the application so build up now from centos okay we can see now the centos has been resolved i need to copy that required content build up images now you can see there are two images current one which is we just downloaded the image now let's see build the containers there is a one container which is currently having centos working container what i'm going to do is that i'm just going to install the application on this container then import that container so that's what we are going to do it here so i'm just going to download that uh, hello application so here is the hello application let me remove this hello application and download it again back i can see so the hello 2.0 is available here that i'm just going to copy this hello application to the container what is the command now build a copy your container name with the container name is this is the container name here and now copy this hello hello dot teacher file i'm just copying to the temp location i can see the image has been copied now we what we have to do now we just copy the hello application but the hello application required some packages to compile that application so we have to install that application so that to do that build and run so the container name here and uh, run the installer commands so m install iphone y tar gcc make these are the uh, utilities required for compiling that hello application so if you are doing this with the rhcl container then you might need to subscribe that rhcl container with the rhcl then only you can run this otherwise you will get some um, m repository error
now you can see the package is installed on that container let's clean this m uh, otherwise in the image size would become more so m build a run and we need to working container the working container is centos working container now run m clean all so now you can see 25 21 files has been removed so the image size will get decreased otherwise the m cache will be on that machine so that the m cache will be also come as a some size now run this um, extracting that application tar file build a run so now our working container the container name here tar xvzf so that is a zip file temp now what we have to do so we have to provide that uh, tar file name zz and i am just uh, compiling that output to the slash opt location i can see the hello application has been extracted on that container now let's build that so let's set some working directory on that container build a config iphone iphone working directory slash opt hello so the directory name is here you can just copy this one here and paste it here and the container name centos working this is what we are doing is that we are setting some working container the working path for that uh, container here then what we do is that we just uh, compile that package and install that package on over there so to do that build a run centos working container that is our uh, container name then dot slash configure so this is the way we have to compile that uh, package and after that install that make make install now we just make uh, run that uh, make command again so here instead of configure run it as a make make has been completed run make install make is completed make install is completed so the application is installation completed and let's see whether the application is working fine or not so here i am just going to test that hello command hello application with hello iphone v which will provide the hello application whatever the version we installed and that so that is the 2.10 version you can see that hello application has been installed so now what we have to do is that we have to set the entry point and and save that as a docker image and import that image okay let's see how we can do that build up now config iphone iphone entry point slash user local bin hello so this is the application path hello path and i'm setting that as an entry point for this container i can see some warning that oh, you can ignore that warning as well and now again run that uh, build up commit commit the changes otherwise it goes in nothing so we have to commit that in a docker format let's see working container here and uh, I say that my first build might be my first build would be latest so that is the name I am just giving to that container as a image name so that it will import to that my first build to latest on the local server you can see now so that image has been imported now if you go to the build images you can see 
there is a latest image you can see that the local host and my first build has been completed and you can see it was 20 second 21 seconds ago was committed so this is the images now what we have to do is that we have to import that as a tag file and delete all the images and containers and rerun that import of that tar file how we can import that one portman and save that output of that file let's say my fast build dot tar file and provide that repository name so this is the repository name here and enter now image has been saved you can just ls here you can see my past build dot tag has been completed let's delete all the images okay first run build the images here and you can see there are images right now i just wanted to delete all the images here portman rmi and deleting the images so this is the image name I just say if an F and again going back and deleting this image and again I am deleting the one more image left all the images are deleted build the images now you can see there is no image now let's load that image whatever we built using the portman load iphone i and provide this path my past to build dot tar i can see my image is loading let's run that build the images you can see my first build is loaded so that's how you can uh, download the images and run this uh, container and uh, install the application and import it to the tar file so that's about this builder let's see the second way of building the builder images using the docker file so how we can build this image using the docker file that's the second method of building the builder images first of all we need to create the docker file i just created the directory here and i also created the docker file here this is the simple docker file where i am using the same method where i have created the builder container image as a previous one but the same one i just simulating here using the docker file from centos latest i am pulling the centos latest image on the from the repository then i say that adding the label as uh, author name is uh, ravi kumar tech care care it then running this install the tor gcc gzip make after that clean that repository files to reduce the image size after that add this hello application tar file to temporary location then extract using the tar xzf to the the content goes to the slash opt directory then i set the working directory is slash opt hello 2.10 then compiling this hello application using the dot slash configure make make install and check that the allow application version using the hello iphone v so that conclude that our application is installed then set the entry point of that builder image now let's run this docker file and create the image how you can do that builder but iphone t so give the name which you would like to 
build it over here so simply we are building using the docker file that's why i say that uh, docker hello point the dot and the docker file should be a capital d so otherwise it does not work now step one which is executing i'm pulling the image from the centos latest now it moved to the next steps which is second step and the third step is installing the tar gcc gzip make now you can see the builder image has been completed let's clear the screen and type builder images and now you can see that there is a new image called docker hello if you want to run this container using the builder you can simply build that container from here builder from docker hello now you can see that container has been running and builder container you can see hello docker hello working container is running that's a simple is that define the docker file and build using the builder here how we can create the persistent portman volumes attach that volumes to the portman containers and uh, access that volumes and uh, see how we can mount and unmount all of this so here we have a uh, portman uh, in order to create the portman volume you need to use portman volume create and provide the volume name example here i would like to uh, specify the volume name is called volume 1 and portman volume ls i can see that there are volumes which are currently created uh, portman uh, my wall my wall 1 and volume 1 is created now if you want to see what are the details about that uh, particular volume you can see volume inspect the volume name and you can see that the volume is volume 1 and the driver is local and mount point is somewhere here on the var lib the date and time when it was created so there is no labels and options you can see this is the portman volume details let's attach this portman volume to the new container and see how it is portman run interactively if on it and iphone v what it will do is that it will just attach that uh, the volume and create that volume and attach to this uh, example i say that the mount point is new wall on the container iphone iphone name i say new container and from centos latest you can see so it was the container was executed and if you type uh, df for edge you can see that there is a mount point with slash new wall which is created under the container now let's create some files and see how we can do that let's uh, make some directory cd slash new wall mkdir testing and maybe you can also make some files called uh, test container something like this and update this content so I created some directory and files under that uh, new wall now exit from here exited from the 
container so i just would like to copy some content from here to there on the container side and see how it goes uh, let's look for some files here so i have some files portman and copy i maybe copy some this hello application from here to the new container so the container name is new container colon slash new wall slash testing is the directory name where i would like to r maybe I just copy directly to the new wall now just execute and see whether we we, ha we have that files copied on that location or not boardman e execute boardman let me clear the screen here boardman exec and you can run that container name here ls iphon l slash new wall let's see whether the container is running or not maybe you can restart the container i now see that you can see hello test testing so these are the files which are copy to that particular container and you can see portman ps so the container is currently running now what you can do so whether the container is persistent or not in order to do that you just stop the container and remove the container and see that volume still exists and you can able to access that content portman stop i'm just would like to stop this container here stop and old man remove this container and now let's see that old man ps so the container is exited there's no container now let's see old man volume ls so the volume is still exist let's create one more container and attach the same that container portman run interactively iphone iphone mount type equal to volume and source equal to volume one and where you would like to mount it as a destination is maybe i just put it as some slash d01 something like that so you can you can use different mount point name while mounting so i just create the container name would be similar different cento is three something like this and from CentOS latest so let me log in back to the bin bash interactively now you can see dff and edge that is mounted and just go to d01 and see that the files are accessible and exit the container so that sees that you can create the persistent volumes on this container and access them and you can also mount them to the different containers like whenever you unmount on the current container and mount to the another volume then you can access that uh, stop the container and remove that container portman rm iphone v and provide that container name you can also delete that volume portman volume rm and provide that volume name iphone f i can see volume has been deleted so this is how you can create the uh, portman persistent volumes and attach them to the container